usually wear the gold watch and and it's insane because you would think you know these weird little fuckboy accessories this bullshit ass gold watch and this evolution daily gold chain of toxic masculinity you would think to yourself man like cool dude you're telling me that that shit helps get you laid like oh cool tell me another story fuck boy about how your gold chain and your dumbass gold watch helps you get laid guess what they do All right, guys, so this video is meant to wake you up. I hear so many guys telling me that they just really don't think the game is possible for them. And if you don't believe that guys say that to me, go through the comments of my videos. Guys are always commenting on these videos and saying to me in more private forums, such as email or messaging me in the Facebook group or whatever it is, and they just don't think that they have a future that includes having women. And I'm not sitting here trying to tell you, I'm not trying to tell you that having women is the end all be all to your happiness and that you shouldn't focus on your career and your development as a man. And the reason why guys get so upset when I do project anything even close to that message is because they're going out, they're, they're maybe giving game a little bit of a go, it's not really working for them. And so then they think that what I'm saying to them, you think what I'm saying to you, is that if you're not sleeping with hot chicks all the time, then you're a piece of shit. And that's not what I'm saying to you. What I'm saying to you is in every area of your life, you should have personal goals and personal standards for where you want to be, what you want to have for yourself. You probably have a number in your head of the amount of money that you would like to make every year. You probably have an idea of what your ideal physique looks like. And when it comes to dating, when it comes to women, you should have very specific goals about what it is that you want. Now, for some of you guys, that might just mean that you wanna meet an amazing woman and make her your girlfriend. And for a lot of you other guys watching this video right now, you may want to just slay or get a wife and a girlfriend on the side and slay. I don't know what your goals are. I don't care what your goals are, but what I'm here in this video to do is I'm here to explain to you a bit about where I came from and to hopefully motivate you to know that this all didn't just come natural to me. Here's the deal, okay? I'm a guy that used to not get any results. I used to not have any women in my life. I used to be broke. I used to deliver pizza. Um, I used to be really fat. I used to be an alcoholic. I basically, you know, without just attacking myself too much here, I basically just used to be a major piece of shit. And, um, you know, I'm okay with saying that now. Love yourself wherever you're at, blah, blah, blah. Like, I get that. But also, no, I have personal standards and boundaries of who I want to be as a man, and you should have those as well. So every step of the way, I have leveled my life up. And now back to what your personal goals are with women. If you want to have hot girls in your life, if you see sex on the internet and you see it in movies and you think to yourself, man, having sex sure seems like a lot of fun. I would love to be fucking hotter girls. I would love to be having sex with more girls and have crazier experiences. Then guess what? That's what I'm teaching you here on this channel. And I'm not telling you that if you don't want those things, then you're a loser. But what I'm telling you is maybe looking at why you don't want those things. Do you tell yourself that you don't want those things because you've given it a little bit of a go and it really hasn't worked out for you and so you kind of turn your back on it? Because that's what's happening in a lot of these incel communities, a lot of these MGTOW communities. Um, and MGTOW has some great points sometimes, absolutely, but then there's a more radical group where a lot of these guys, they just they hate women and it's because they can't have the women that they want and rather than putting forth the effort to go out and be able to meet the women that they want rather than put forth the effort to become the man that the women that they want want they decide just to join these communities and to um, and to just revel in their incel dumb or their MGTOW dumb right that's what they choose to do so when I started off in all of this 
I'd had sex with a couple girls and they were not attractive women, right? They were not attractive girls that I had had sex with back in the day. Um, and then I was, uh, I was very depressed at a certain point. You know, I was about 20, I was about 22 years old and a good buddy of mine, he sent me a video and the video basically helped me to discover pickup. I found out that there are men out there that are teaching women how to, or I'm sorry, teaching men rather how to meet women. And when I discovered that, it shifted my entire world. It shifted everything for me because previously I had just thought, well, my friends that I grew up with that are good with women, they were born being good with chicks. They were born being able to get laid. And I'm not that guy and I never will be that guy. I had had conversations with friends of mine uh, about the fact that I would never actually have sex with a hot chick. And these weren't in-depth conversations where we sat down and like, Aaron, you're never gonna have sex with a hot chick. It was just more so in passing where I had just accepted that for myself. Like very weird little conversations actually that didn't really resonate with me until later on in life. And uh, you know, I discovered that you could get good at this and I was all in. I was all in. I gave everything to it. A lot of guys tell me that they've been watching my videos for a long time and they haven't gone out and taken any action. Now, at the time that I discovered game, I was a bad alcoholic. So I'm not gonna lie to you guys and say like, I went out sober and started doing day game. No, what I started off doing was going out getting blacked out with an old roommate of mine and just relentlessly like talking to women, not getting anything out of it, absolutely getting nothing out of it at the beginning and I had to get drunk, but then, after years of being fat, ever since I was like eight years old, I think I was a fat kid, I literally started trying to diet and exercise when I was nine years old. I'll never forget it. I don't think I've ever brought this up in a video before. I'll never forget. Uh, we were doing a class field trip to the pool when I was in fourth grade, and you had to have your parents sign this form, and uh, you know, like a, a class field trip release form or whatever it was. And I remember really, really wanting to go. I remember wanting to go to the pool with everybody, but I didn't go because I was fat and I was nine years old and that really sucked. And I had tried different diets, different forms of exercise throughout my whole life like as a young boy trying to lose weight, right? And I just couldn't do it. Part of it was my environment, part of it was just not really actually understanding nutrition, anything like that. And it turned out, it turned out that when I discovered pickup, that when I discovered the game, it turned out that once I started doing that and I wasn't yielding results, it turned out that I wanted that so badly that that had to now be the motivation for me to lose weight. So I discovered game, I started going out for about a month. Then over the next three months, I dropped from 290 pounds all the way down to 216 pounds in three months. The way that I did that was I did keto diet six days a week and on the seventh day, every Sunday, I would binge. I would eat whatever I wanted all day long to the point of basically being sick. And that would reset my metabolism for the next six days of keto, fat burning, right? It's easier to lose weight when you're fatter. So now what you have here is you have a guy who had only slept with a few very unattractive women a little bit earlier on, you know, just about four months ago, five months ago, to now this guy that's going out and I still needed to get drunk. I needed to get drunk for a while in the game, 100%. I don't recommend that to anybody. I should have done more uh, sober game at the beginning, but... So now you have a guy that's going out, talking to chicks all the time. I'm getting more confident from talking to chicks and realizing like, hey, even if they're not sleeping with me, I'm kind of like, they're, they're talking to me. Girls that I would look at before and be like, oh my God, what I wouldn't give to have her. I would just do anything to be able to have that girl. And I wasn't sleeping with her yet, but I would go over to that girl and just ramble and talk and speak and she would engage and have conversations with me and give me a number, but then flake me and that was okay because I was now getting phone numbers from these hot chicks and just like, oh my God, one of them's finally gonna pan out. Then I'm losing weight, so now I'm looking better. I'm gaining confidence from looking better. I'm gaining confidence from the game. I'm becoming more attractive to women, so now my game is working a little bit more. I'm getting some makeouts here and there. And then eventually, I get my first cold approach lay. It happens for me, and I can't believe it. And what ends up happening is in the first like five months of game, I sleep with eight different girls, eight new chicks in the first like five months of game. 
after the couple months of basically incel dumb in the game, right? It didn't take me years and years and years. No, because what it took was this extreme and radical shift of character over a short amount of time. I gave everything to getting better with women. I gave everything to losing weight. I was developing my social skills, becoming more confident. Then over time what happened is I decided, you know what, I'm really serious about this shit. I know I need to start doing it sober. So then, even though I still drank all the time, I was going out and doing games sober. I would set different rules for myself. So I would say, all right, you can't drink until 1 a.m. I would, I would do that. I would say you can't drink unless you're polling. So once I got a girl committed to coming home with me, I would maybe do a shot with her at the end of the night. And that was when I was drinking. So now what you had is you had a couple years of me still definitely being an alcoholic, but uh, gaming sober all the time and realizing and noticing that, you know what, man, I'm not as sharp when I'm drunk. I absolutely feel more confident and more fluid and liquid courage and blah, 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 but I'm not as sharp when I'm drunk. And so I had to recognize that. And so I got sober while gaming. And then over time, I then, years later, years down the road, I started to do a 30 day no alcohol challenge with a guy who's still one of my main wings. And I did the 30 day no alcohol challenge when I was about 25 and a half. I started on Thanksgiving of 2015. And during the 30 days, my entire life skyrocketed. Everything skyrocketed. I had already started running Evolution Daily. And by running Evolution Daily, what I mean is like putting out some videos here and there where I'm just screaming into the camera about overcoming approach anxiety. And so I had started Evolution Daily. And then during that 30 days, I felt as though my game just got so much better, just so much more solid. I felt more of a motivation to put out different videos and to put out more videos. And I started to kind of recognize like, wow, I think I might really have what it takes to become a pickup coach. Cause now at this point, you know, we're now three years ahead of where I started. I mean, I was slaying. I was absolutely slaying by the time I started Evolution Daily. The way that it really all started was I would just go on maniacal rants to all of my local wings and then like sometimes guys would throw in there like, man, you should like make videos on this stuff, dude. Like you should do like what RSD does and make videos or whatever. And I was like, that sounds kind of fun. You know, maybe I could do that. But I still just, it took me a while to take it seriously, right? And then I start taking it very seriously. I start running Evolution Daily, doing uh, tiny little boot camps around Columbus, really. I just started doing like $90 boot camps. I would take a guy out for one night uh, and I would do a $90 boot camp with that guy. And it was amazing to me. I'll never forget the first time that somebody handed me money for a boot camp. I will never, ever fucking forget it. Indian guy in Columbus, awesome dude. I'm just gonna shout him out by first name. It's whatever, Raj from Columbus. He was the first person where I got off of my pizza delivery job and I'd made like decent money delivering pizzas that night. And I go to meet up with him for the boot camp. And I remember thinking to myself, I don't want to tell him a hundred cause he might say no, that sounds like a lot of money. So I told him $90 and he just hands me $90 cash. And I go out and I have like the best night ever. Just, I realize like my love for coaching in that moment. And I'm just like, holy shit, like $90 to, to go game with this guy? Like, oh my God, this is insane. And then over the years, I have just relentlessly done more and more and more to elevate my business, my body, everything. I started doing testosterone replacement therapy a couple years back after realizing that I was very, very low. That skyrocketed everything for me. I upgraded my fashion. I'm not wearing it right now, but I usually wear the Evolution Daily gold chain of toxic masculinity. Um, you know, I, I usually wear the gold watch and and it's insane because you would think, you know, these weird little fuckboy accessories, this bullshit ass gold watch and this evolution daily gold chain of toxic masculinity, you would think to yourself, man, like, cool, dude, you're telling me that that shit helps get you laid? Like, oh, cool, tell me another story, fuckboy, about how your gold chain and your dumbass gold watch helps you get laid. Guess what? They do. I think it's crazy too. I don't agree with it either. I'm having the same thoughts you're having right now. It's bullshit, it's dumb. Look at this stupid chain and this dumb watch. I look ridiculous. But women and female psychology, 
okay? It can't, it's like they don't even have any control over it. And what this is, and I learned this term from uh, Sonny Arvado, actually. He's got a book called Instagods. You guys should check that out. It's called resource signaling. I just look higher value. I look higher value right now than I did just two minutes ago. And you guys can't deny it. You can't deny it. What else have I done? I've upgraded my fucking hair. This is what I'm getting at, okay? Look at my hair from my old videos and look at it now. My hair's fucking great. I just got back from the gym and I haven't showered yet, so it might be a mess, but I don't care. The point is I got great hair now. And look, Aaron, you're ranting about your gold chain and your hair and the fact that you get laid all the time and fucking cool, whatever, what's the point? The point is that I have put in so much work, research, and effort into getting better with women. And you might think to yourself, Okay, Aaron, is it all worth it? Is it all worth it to put all of that in? And now you also might be thinking, of course it's worth it to you because you know, you're a pickup coach and blah, blah, blah. No, 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 I promise you. If I would've graduated from college and gotten a fucking engineering degree and I was an engineer right now, I guarantee you I would've made all these same changes as well because I am a man that has a high sex drive. That's all there is to it. And so my personal goal is to fuck a lot of chicks. I see hot girls on Instagram, I see hot girls out in the world, and you know what, man, whatever. Maybe my brain's broken. I don't fucking care. Don't, you can sit here and fucking psychologically analyze me all you want. I don't care. I have a high sex drive and I like to fuck. Okay. And for years now, for years, I've been shamed about that. Do you guys realize this? Do you guys realize that I have been shamed about having a high sex drive and about wanting to fuck? What are the different sources I've been shamed by? Here, set the camera there for a second. So what are the different sources I've been shamed by, okay? I've been shamed by women that want me to settle down with them. I've been shamed by guys that watch my videos. Is getting laid really all that important? Oh, you're obsessed with pickup. Why don't you have like some better hobbies or fuck, whatever the hell, man. I've been shamed about my masculinity. And sure, maybe some of my masculinity is a bit toxic, okay? Maybe I have some toxic masculinity going on. I don't care, all right? The point is, is I have personal goals for myself and I've decided to reach those personal goals. That's what I've decided to do for myself. And if you have personal goals, then you need to decide that you are going to reach them and you're going to put in the work. I'm not trying to brag here, but the absolute honest to God truth of where I'm at right now, and I could, I could have more girls in this, I could have less and be in a relationship if I wanted to, the absolute truth about where I'm at right now is I have about, I would say, seven or eight chicks that I could hit up right now at any given moment. And if I, and if I chose to have more regulars, I could. It's just like, I, I, I'm running a business, I'm going to the gym, I'm doing a lot of shit. I don't have time to maintain a harem of, of 10 to 15 girls. I have about seven or eight girls that I could hit up right now at any given moment and get them to come over to this apartment. I promised Alpha Chad here actually that you know I was gonna try to not have chicks over here because we need to really focus on some projects over the next couple days, but that's falling apart. About to have a threesome tonight. I have a different chick coming over tomorrow night. It's just the life that I'm living. This is where I'm at. This is the life I've built for myself. It is the life that I want for myself. Now, down the road, when I'm 45 or something, am I gonna wanna get married? Six months ago, the answer to that would have been yes. I might not ever get married. Realistically, I've been thinking about this a lot. I don't think I'm ever gonna get married. But the point is, is that if you wanna get married, you could choose to not have a harem of seven or eight girls. You could just put in all the same work and effort that I've put in, and you could sleep with a few girls along the way, and then you could get an amazing girlfriend. Let me tell you something else, okay? Let me tell you something else. I gotta keep an eye on the time because I got that coaching call in 10 minutes. We're good, we got 10 minutes. So let me tell you something else, okay? Is you don't realize how much being a pimp can actually help your extremely wholesome monogamous relationship. Let me explain. You're a guy watching this video and you're, you're a more wholesome dude. You're not out trying to be a fuck boy. You're a good guy, you got good values and you think to yourself, man, you know what? I just wanna get like this one girl and fall in love and live a, 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 live a life like the movie The Notebook or something, right? And that's amazing. I, I applaud you for that and I want you to do that. But let me explain something that happens to a lot of guys. A lot of guys that marry their college sweetheart or their high school sweetheart or, or that second or third girl that they slept with that they really think this is the one. Look, I could get into a very serious monogamous relationship right now. I could choose to be in a very serious monogamous relationship right now. And what am I gonna go into that relationship with? I'm gonna go into that relationship 
with tons of experience of dealing with women. Whoever the girl is that I get into this extremely serious relationship with right now, there's nothing that she's gonna throw at me that I haven't dealt with before. Nothing, literally nothing. On top of that, I'm going into this relationship with the confidence of knowing that I can end it at any time and I'm not gonna be alone. That's a major fear for a lot of men is ending up alone. And I don't think that's talked about enough. I think I should maybe even expand upon that further in another video. But, you know, I know that if a woman starts giving me tons of shit, I'm going to lay down the law. I'm going to make sure that she fucking knows who she's dealing with, that she's not going to give me that shit, that I need her to, to be feminine. And a big part of keeping your woman feminine is by maintaining and upgrading your masculine as you're always moving forward. But again, that's for another video. But I know that I'm going to lay down the law, set my boundaries, and if she doesn't shape up and behave, I'm going to leave her and I'm a pimp. And I know that I'm going to go out and get more women. And so I am leading through that entire relationship with full confidence and never needing anything from this woman. And that just leads to an overall healthier and happier relationship. There's just so much to be learned from the game. There's so much to be gained. Uh, I don't even know at this point what I'm going to title this video. This is just an insane rant that I just felt like I needed to go on where I just am trying to explain to you that I came from dirt. I came from fucking dirt. And now we're up in the clouds, all right? And the truth is, is that anybody, I truly believe, and, and it's not all just pickup, it's not all just studying pickup, it's, it's studying fashion, it's figuring out your brain, like watching Teal Swan videos, Alpha Chad's loving that, he loves Teal Swan. Watch some Teal Swan videos, like do inner work, get a therapist. Um, take improv classes, do stand-up comedy. I left that out of my whole story. I did comedy for years. Uh, take acting classes. Like, you, just the resources are out there. Tony Robbins says success is dependent upon your resourcefulness. He says that in his book, Awaken the Giant Within. The resources are out here to do whatever we want and your resourcefulness is your ability to capitalize upon those resources. So you're sitting alone all night playing fucking Fortnite, eating King's Pizza and smoking cigarettes by yourself and you're complaining about the fact that you're never gonna get good with women, it's because your resourcefulness is lacking, okay? So all I wanna get across to you in this video is that yes, let's say I started off at a four and now I've gotten up to a 10 and maybe you're starting off at a one and you're, you need to get up to a 10 so the climb is harder or rougher, whatever the fuck it is, I don't know. You can do it, it's possible for you. Um, just get your shit together, man. Get your shit together and email me down below if you feel like you need coaching. I'll just include my email in the first link down below. Um, Whatever. I don't even want to do a big pitch right now. Just get it together, bro. I believe in you. I believe in you more than you believe in yourself.